Hi folks, uh, this is Sector. Today is uh, Thursday, the 10th of uh, January 2007. Um, it's uh, 5 minutes to 5 p.m. London time. Uh, the London market is about to close and, uh, well, you know, I, I thought perhaps I could record my video today. Um, today I didn't take any trade. We've had uh, the uh, interest rates coming from uh, Europe and in uh, England. Um, and unfortunately, you know, most of the best setups that I was um, I was spotting today were uh, GBP related crosses. So, um, you know, I decided to uh, not take any trade because of the interest rates. As, as you guys know, I, I don't feel comfortable um, uh, you know, getting involved uh, in trades the day the interest rates are released because you never know how the mar market may react, okay? Um, anyway, nonetheless, uh, in many uh, sterling pound crosses we've seen uh, we've seen a number of, uh, uh, you know, we've seen uh, uh, an overall weakness on the uh, sterling pound. Uh, like I say, in many crosses against uh, different uh, currency pairs, uh, and that means that the uh, well, the uh, the sterling pound is getting weaker and weaker uh, across the board. Okay, and I'm gonna be showing you some examples. In in well, let's uh, let's uh, uh, let me try to explain you um, why I'm basing or I'm favoring sterling pound shorts for the uh, following days. Okay, uh, let's begin with the uh, cable. You know, the uh, main sterling pound cross, the uh, GBP against the American dollar. Um, as you can see, which is the the chart you are seeing right now, in this case, uh, in the four hours time frame, uh, moving average is definitely pointing down. Okay, definitely, definitely, there is a downtrend in this market. In fact, uh, if I if I scroll back a little bit in time, we can see that how this uh, downtrend has been coming. Uh, well, you know, from from quite a while, from. Uh, uh, Almost the uh, beginning of uh, uh, of December, so it's it's been over a, a whole month of downtrending, uh, uh, you know, market price action for the standing pound. Uh, moreover, uh, if if we have a look at what's been going on throughout the last few days, we see that we are forming, uh, we are finding support right off the one ninety five fifty level. Okay. This, uh, this is the uh, support level that I'm talking about, uh, 195.50 once again, uh, which was yesterday's low. Uh, it got retested today, one, uh, today, just as the London market opened up. And then we have a little bit, you know, of crazy price action due to the, uh, uh, the interest rates. Once again, that level is being retested. Uh, in in well, basically, uh, what I'm gonna be looking for is a possible breakout to the downside in order to search for for short entries. Um, actually, we zoom back out into the uh, four hour time frame. What we see is uh, you know uh, how price uh, spiked up uh, up on the news uh, today's news. Uh, it found resistance um, at the previous week's low. Okay, this level, which was the 196.50, it uh, it spiked up about 100 pips right from the lows for the day 195.50 once again, all the way up to 196.50. Found resistance right there, and from there. What we've seen is uh, actually let me zoom in again. Uh, what we've seen is is, is a long, uh, you know, long thrust, a long move, uh, long red bar uh, to the downside, building pressure once again uh, into this 195.50. Uh, in my opinion, once that level gives way, it's green lights to search for short entries. Okay. Basically, uh, uh, you know, it's the concept of former resistance. Sorry, former support uh, becoming resistance. In 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 well, you know, uh, if that level holds, okay, the previous swing low uh, in the direction of the moving averages, meaning in the direction of the overall market sentiment. Once this support level gives way to the downside, well, this it means that this uh, market is again uh, looking to go down. Um, into new lows for the week in well you know therefore uh, it's all right to search for for sure entries or at least it seems like the most feasible or most most uh, sensible uh, option trading option on this currency pair um, then if we look into another uh, into all the different currency crosses for the selling pan we can clearly see how uh, well in this case the GBP against the New Zealand dollar well have a look at today's price action is you know 
totally in red okay uh, 338 pips so far um, breaking last week's low right there and from that once again it's basically the same uh, the same type of behavior this type of price action repeats over and over and over okay if we zoom into the short time frames we can clearly see the typical uh, breakout pullback this is where the news came out a little bit of you know uh, wild price action there quite a nasty spike uh, in a long uh, a long red bar with a long week you see retesting this previous level of you know this the uh, previous swing low uh, for the week for the previous week actually uh, broken retested up on the news the news couldn't push price to the upside I, I speak about this uh, I explain how I personally blend uh, the uh, fundamentals um, with the technicals or at least the impact of the uh, of the uh, news releases uh, up on the chart in this case we can clearly see how uh, up on the news price spiked up uh, found heavy resistance uh, at that level there were many uh, many sellers waiting to enter in this market and from there bang 300 pips to the downside uh, this this market is definitely filled with sellers um, uh, in in well you know uh, it keeps driving price to the downside so uh, like I say once again uh, being short or searching for short entries seems the most uh, you know the most sensible uh, way the most sensible uh, trading option um, GBP against the Australian dollar it was a beautiful trade beautiful trade have a look um, in the GBP against Australian dollar one hour one hour time frame have a look at that beautiful trend have a look at those beautiful uh, moving average formation dynamic area of resistance uh, holding price below okay price is harmonically swinging uh, off that level of that area and it keeps making new lows okay uh, every time we retrace back well we uh, found uh, we find resistance at the dynamic area of resistance at this trend line we make new low another retracement uh, uh, the dynamic area of resistance holds once again the retracement and we make new low and and so on and so forth as long as this area right the, the area I like to keep an eye on between the 30 and the 50 simple moving average uh, keeps holding price below all right and we keep making lower lows in well you know clearly making also lower highs well we keep being on the on a, on a downtrend and therefore you want to be searching for short entries uh, on this market such, such a shame there were no uh, we had the uh, the interest rate so I couldn't possibly search for um, you know couldn't possibly uh, force myself to enter uh, to enter this market because of the news. Um, this was another another currency pair that I had on my watch list: the GBP against the Swiss franc, uh, also for our for our time frame. Uh, another very clear of level of support. Okay, forming a double bottom at the 218 double. Actually, I was commenting this in real time with with one of my students. I can't remember really who uh, who he was, uh, but anyway, I was I was telling him how was uh, how I was following this chart searching for a breakout of this level it did happen uh, once again I didn't take the trade because of the news because of the interest rate but as you can see it's moved uh, 50 100 150 200 pi almost 200 pips uh, up on breaking that key level okay it's always important to uh, um, uh, to remember to keep in mind what's the key level to follow for the day in this case and the GBP against the Swiss franc it was like I say that 218 double O level um, due to that double bottom in a downtrend once it gives way uh, lots of sellers see the green light to enter short in the market uh, therefore there is a momentum reaction on the chart um, you know uh, imagine you intended to you wanted to enter short in this market you see that double bottom giving way in the direction of the main trend uh, first of all you have green lights the sellers have green lights to enter short and also all the people who were long you know uh, not very wisely so but imagine you were low uh, uh, long on this market you would place definitely your 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 stop orders down here so once they get triggered once the breakout actually takes place all those all those stop losses get triggered and bang you know um price accelerates to the downside all right, folks, that's all for today. Um, like I say, I'm seeing uh, selling pound weakness, and therefore I'm going to be uh, searching for short entries on the pound during the next weeks. 
and next days. Bye-bye.